This $200 camera can record 14-bit raw video internally. No external SSD, no external recorder, with the standard SD card and battery that's in this right now, this camera records 14-bit raw video. I think technically speaking, this is one of, if not the smallest and cheapest interchangeable lens raw video recording camera in the world. However, there's one really big catch, which is probably the reason this isn't as popular as it should be for what it can do. And I'm gonna get into that, so stay tuned. But first, I wanna give a little introduction on this camera. So this is the Canon EOS M. This camera was released by Canon in 2012, and it's a standard entry-level mirrorless camera from Canon. Now, like I said, this came out in 2012. So this was the early days of mirrorless cameras from Canon. And so this doesn't have any crazy features. It has a fixed LCD screen. However, it is a touch screen, which is really nice. It does have a microphone input, HDMI output, standard stuff like that. There's really nothing else to this camera. I mean, there's not even really a grip to it. It's just this little nub on the front of it. And when it comes to the capabilities of this, it's pretty much the same. Pretty standard, pretty boring. It's 18 megapixels. It shoots 1080p video at 24 frames a second. 720p video at 60 frames a second. Overall, it's a fine camera. It's really small, really portable. You know, I have this 15 to 45 kit lens on here right now, and that is an extremely portable camera. You know, if you just take pictures with it or just record, you know, simple 1080p video with it, but there's really nothing to make this camera stand out from pretty much anything around the same price point from Canon or Sony or Panasonic or anything else around this age and price point, except one thing. A company called Magic Lantern was essentially able to hack the firmware on this camera and give it a bunch of numerous features that it didn't previously have, including anything from focus peaking to histograms, zebras, and more advanced tools to help you get good focus, exposure, and composition, all the way to, like I stated earlier, shooting 14-bit raw video in 1080p, and literally everything in between. There's even a 5K raw mode that I haven't really got into, as well as countless other modes and features for video and photography to basically get the most amount of use out of this camera you possibly can. Now already, if that interests you, I'm gonna link someone down in the description. His name is Zeke, and he is like the YouTuber to go to when it comes to the Magic Lantern on the EOS M and really just Magic Lantern in general. So I recommend checking him out because I obviously do not know as much as him. I'm not a pro at Magic Lantern. I've dove pretty deep into it over the past week or so, but I still know nothing compared to Zeke, so I'd recommend checking his channel out if you're interested. I've been able to shoot some pretty awesome looking footage with this camera. And so I'm sure you've probably either seen some by now or I'm about to show some footage that I shot with this. And I'm gonna show a lot of footage I shot with this, but I wanna go over the rig that I used with this and of course what I used to shoot this footage as well. All right, so first things first, this is the cage I use with this camera. And this is actually a small rig universal cage, which I'll link down in the description if you want to check this out and buy it. It's like 70 bucks. So it's a little bit on the pricey side compared to other you know, cages for smaller mirrorless cameras like this. But it works great, it has an insane amount of mounting points, and this is pretty much what I use with the Canon EOS M. And then real quick, I'll show you the lens I use to record this footage as well, because it's a pretty awesome lens. And I actually have it attached to my M50 right now, but this is a Tokina 28-70 to f2.6 to 2.8 lens, and this is an awesome lens. Uh, Tokina actually partnered with Anjanu, which is a professional cinema lens company, and they kind of work together on this one as well as the Anjanu 28-70 f2.6, which is essentially the exact same lens. And this is what I shot all the footage with that you're gonna see of this camera. Like I said, this is an amazing lens, but that's not what this video is about. So let's get back to the EOS M. So once you build yourself a rig, put a nice lens on there and shoot some of this raw footage, just the quality of footage coming out of this is awesome. It's not gonna be super sharp. It's still 1080p video and a raw isn't really gonna affect that very much. However, the dynamic range and just the color quality out of this with raw video is just insane.
But that pretty much wraps this video up. This is a $200 camera that records 14-bit raw video. That's pretty much all there is to say about this. Like I said, go check out Zeke's channel in the description if you wanna learn more about this, as well as just look up Magical Lantern Raw on Google and just do a bunch of research before you attempt to do this because it's super in-depth and it can be a little bit risky. So definitely do your research. But that wraps this video up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.